All right, welcome back. It is uh, Skateboard Art Basics, the how-to sessions. So we're on um, uh, volume two here, and this is talking again. We're going back to the second step of primering your skateboard. So this is step two to primering the skateboards. Uh, in the last video, we looked at spray painting the boards. We did a base layer on that board. That primered skateboard base layer. This has got one very thin layer of spray paint and we used the Montana Gold. We did just a basic coverage. You can see that it's not fully painted white. It's just the lightest dusting of spray paint. And that's really all you want. Super light dusting. And again, that spray paint is just giving this a, a, a varnish, uh, you know, just covering that varnish a little bit. It's giving it a little bit of texture for our acrylic to grip onto. Um, so the next step is let's add the acrylic to the skateboards. And this is going to be a layered process. Uh, we're going to do probably, I like to do probably, you know, five to 10 layers of this. And I use a very specific type of uh, acrylic paint. And this is called Flow Acrylic. I use a very cheap generic brand called Artist Loft. Um, nothing special about it, but I have found, and again, this is all trial and error it's just you know years and years of of making skateboards and playing with different mediums and so on figuring out what works and what doesn't work what i have found is that this flow acrylic from artist loft is something about the the consistency and the texture of the acrylic is just it works really really well when you do it the right way uh, for sharpies to be able to draw over the top of or any other medium it doesn't have to necessarily be a sharpie uh, so we're going to start with this now that we have that very light layer of spray paint, and I'm gonna run three boards at a time. I like to, you know, I like to think ahead, so I'm doing three boards. I'm getting these ready to go all at the same time um, so that I always have, you know, enough canvas and skateboard canvas is really stocked and ready to go as I, as I like to work. Um, so let's just put a little flow acrylic little cup here. Doesn't take much. I see a lot of kids go way too heavy. Tiny, tiny bit. Not a whole lot of paint. A little bit goes a long way. Now you have all kinds of different brushes. Um, I personally like a very fine bristled brush because you don't see a lot of grooves and texture as you're painting. Um, obviously a little bit larger brush head is gonna be better because you cover a little more surface area. But essentially, all you're looking to do is create a very, very thin base layer. And again, this is a layering process. It takes a lot of layers, it takes a lot of time. Each layer's gotta dry completely. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna to start to paint on the skateboard and I'm gonna do sort of medium length strokes, generally about a quarter to a third of the length of the skateboard. And as you're painting this, always going in the same direction. I kinda of like to go north or south, east or west, whatever the case is, you know, from nose to tail on the skateboard just to keep a nice consistent pattern. And the one thing you wanna do is you never want to you never want to paint all over in different directions, you know? You're always going consistently in the same direction. And uh, you want it to be a thin, thin layer. The, the reason for that is it'll dry quicker and then you can get on to the next layer. Every layer has to dry 100%. So as you finish a board nose to tail with a thin, thin layer, then let that dry 100%. If you go too quickly, if you rush it, you just end up moving paint all over the skateboard and it never really gets a consistent layer. And that's something I see that happens a lot with students. So we're gonna start here. We're going north, south, thin, 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 thin layer. It's gonna be a patience process here. And here's a little hint. I keep my skateboards hanging off the edge of the skate, off the edge of the table, because if they're up on the table, they wiggle around, hang it off sits really steady. So little small things like that that kind of add up and make a big difference in just how long a thing takes to do and um, you know how well the uh, the brush stroke actually applies is, is a big difference as well there. And I just dab the tiniest amount of paint on here and I can spread that so thin and so far it doesn't take much. Very very small amount of paint and I'm spreading it as smooth as possible. You have to almost think of it like, almost sculpturally, like you're trying to make a piece of clay as smooth as you can possibly make it. You're using that brush just to smooth this out. Thinnest layer imaginable. Doesn't take much, very, very thin. 
tiny bit more, if you notice this. There's such a little amount of paint on the end of that brush, right? Tiny, tiny amount. And that tiny amount of paint is gonna stretch really, really far. We can make that literally stretch, stretch almost across the entire skateboard if we wanted to. And a little tip as well is I like to paint the edges. I just think it looks really professional when a skateboard's on the wall and the color wraps all the way around to the back so that in a gallery setting or whatever the case may be, your viewer is you know, never seen where the paint ended on the side. It's a consistent wrap around, uh, which I think it just, it just sort of looks really professional when you do something like that. It makes it look like you put a lot of, uh, a lot of care and effort into the board itself. And we're just gonna get the most thinnest possible layer. Once we have that first initial layer on the skateboard, we're gonna let that dry completely. And it's very, very important, again, that it goes 100% dry. And the reason for that is, if it doesn't dry completely, you end up just like moving paint from one end to the another. It'll never really dry, and it's never gonna have that like really consistent, almost plastic look to it that you want. You want it to be as unremarkable as possible. Basically saying, you want it to look like a piece of printer paper when it's done. You shouldn't see those brush strokes. You shouldn't see lines of the skateboard, the wood grain of the skateboard. Super, 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 super thin layer. And then when you do that, you're gonna take and do probably, I personally like to do about 10. So I'll paint a layer on here. I'll let that dry completely. I'll come back, paint another layer, let that dry completely and do that 10 times. And then you gotta let that dry 100% before you start drawing on it. And then your board is essentially ready to start drawing at that point. And you can literally do this for days if you want to, because if you wanna make sure that the base of your skateboard is so, so, so vibrant and white, keep it going for days at a time. I mean, you can spend so much time just doing this layering process. And so also when I'm in the studio and working or whatever, I generally, I'll be running three or four of these at all times. I have skateboards constantly in reproduction. So like they're, they're constantly in different phases of where they're at in the process. So one morning I might wake up and I'll paint three of them with a spray paint and then I'll do a base layer. And then I constantly am rotating generally about a 10 board setup so that there's always new, ready, fresh white decks to work on. And again, you don't have to do the white. You can always go back to just that, that natural wood grain looks really, really cool. I do a lot of my skateboards without ever doing this primer layer because that wood grain can be really interesting depending on the subject matter of the skateboard. So, um, Also, just little tips, you know, like keep your brushes clean. You always want to clean your brush right away. Um, a good paint brush goes a long, long way. There's a big difference. It's like spray paint. There's a big difference in quality between the cheap stuff and the good ones. So a nice, good paintbrush can last you forever. I always have a little thing of water on hand, keeping that going. Like this brush right here. Probably can't see it too well on camera, but I have been painting with this brush for over 10 years. I love this brush. It's probably one of my favorite, most amazing sort of go-to tools in my, in my studio setup. So I love this brush. Um, Flow Acrylic. Artist Loft is the brand I like to use. There's probably better brands out there. I just haven't found them yet. Um, it's kind of trial and error. Everything you're doing is constant trial and error. You're always sort of working through mistakes, figuring things out. There's no right or wrong way to do any of this. You get to kind of figure it out and it's definitely just play with it. Enjoy it. Enjoy the process. Part of making art is about that. Just kind of enjoying the process of it all. Always handy to have a little uh, blow dryer on hand. Very important. This helps you speed the process up. Blow dry that one. That can really help speed the process up in terms of drawing skateboards and, and having them, you know, be ready for those next layers. Um, yeah, that's it. So basically step one to primering the skateboard is putting on that spray paint layer, very thin, simple base layer. Step two then is brushing on acrylic. I use a white flow acrylic. Multiple layers, five to 10 layers. Let each layer dry 100% before you apply the next layer. Try and make it as smooth as possible. Think of it like a piece of clay. You're trying to make it like as smooth as a piece of ceramic, okay? 
And there you go, that's uh, putting the primer layers on the skateboard. And once you've done that and you feel good about that base layer, then you can start with the actual artwork on the skateboard itself. There you have it, step two, skateboard art how-to basics, um, primer. We've primered our skateboards. Best of luck, everybody.